EPSXE does support the use of a keyboard, but it really isn't very comfortable, so you should have a controller. There are many options, but the two I'm going to show you are the Xbox 360 controller and the DualShock 1 or 2 controller. Click on the annotation over the controller corresponding to what you have available. This will take you to a guide on how to use them. When that's finished, come back here to see how to configure them with the emulator. So by now you should have your controller all ready to go. If you're using an Xbox controller, make sure you have all the drivers installed. If you're using a DualShock 1 or 2 controller with the adapter, no drivers are necessary. I'll now be showing you how to configure the controller with the emulator. The process is the same with each controller. Make sure you have the DualShock 1 controller selected, as, mo as there are some games that support it, such as Resident Evil 3 or Gran Turismo. If, you, if your game supports it, it will be wise to use it. If you're not sure, Google search it. Select the button or the stick axis and then press the button on the controller corresponding with that button or stick axis. And so on. By clicking the link in the description, you can find one of the many websites to download ROMs from. I find this one to be very reliable. You choose the letter that the game starts with, click on the game, and find the download link. To run a game, click File, Run ISO, and navigate to the ROM in which you wish to play. Click on it, hit Open, and you should be good to go. Well there you have it. You can now play PlayStation 1 games on your PC, and have access to the thousands of games released for the system. I hope this video was very informative or helpful. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, and thank you for watching.